Hi, welcome to Mahika Tutorials. I am Mahika Motwani. In previous tutorial, we have seen how we can inject an object inside a beam using setter injection. Now we have we are going to see how we can inject an object using the constructor injection rather than the setter injection. So again, we are going to use these two beams. One will be our employee, and second will be the address beam. So now here rather than giving the setters, we will give constructors. So here we have the bean employee with three attributes, ID, name and address. So I am going to remove this getter setter and here we will write instead constructor. So here we will give the constructor for employee, which will take three parameters, ID, name and address. And here we will initialize these three. This dot id equals id, and then this dot name equals name, and this dot address equals address. Okay, and nothing more required in this class. Now, similarly. In address class, we will remove the setters and we will add the constructor over there. So here again we have three attributes, street, city and state. So we will write a parameterized constructor which will take these three parameters. Street. and state and here we will initialize these three this dot street equals to street similarly this dot city equals city and this dot state equals state so this was the change required in employee and address class now here in beans.xml we need to perform the injection using constructors rather than the property tag so here we will make use of constructor arc tag let us first configure the address bean so for that we will give here constructor arc tag and then here we will give the value attribute so here we will give the value for street let's say 32 park street and similarly we will give the values for other two parameters as well so I will just copy this and make the changes. Now second one has to be city. So we will give it Pune. And then we need to give for country. So here we will, sorry, we need to give for state. So here we will give Maharashtra. And now we will configure this EMP bean. So here again we will make use of constructor arc. And the first attribute that we need to configure is the ID. So here we will pass the ID of the employee. And then we need to set the value for name of the employee. So here we will give name as Rahul and then the last thing that we need to configure is the address. So here we will give rather than using the value attribute here we will give the reference attribute in which we will give the reference of the 
address pin that we have configured above so here we will give ref equals address okay so this is how we can configure the beans using the constructor injection now we need to move to our test file which is the client code now here we are not going to change any th code because we are going to get the bean with the id emp and then we are calling the close method to close this application context instance and then we are displaying the bean so now let's run our client code and check the output Now here we are, we are getting id, name and address with the values that we have given for the bean. So this is how we can inject an object into a bean using the constructor injection. For that we need to make use of this constructor arc tag again. But here rather than using the value we use the ref attribute and specify the id of the bean which is to be injected inside another bean. Thank you for watching this tutorial.